Finally, the Horde have access to Warfronts. As you can tell, all of the dailies have been removed now, and that is because we now have access to Warfronts, and we have no need for uh, resources to go ahead and boost up our Horde army. As you can also see, we do have peons, we have grunts, and we have soldiers ready to go ahead and blast through uh, Stormguard for this first Warfront all over the place here. Uh, there is now a quest active, and uh, something I did notice that I have yet to talk about is if you go to your map, you'll also zoom all the way out. Um, if you go to your map, you'll notice that there's like a little horde symbol or for the alliance, so it'll be an alliance symbol. Uh, that basically shows you the percentage that you are currently at. So for the alliance, it would show a percentage instead of active uh, because they're currently working on getting uh, warfronts onto their side. So they have to boost up their army for the time being. Uh, while for the horde, it currently says active because we can actually do warfronts. So, we got a quest that we got to go ahead and pick up, so let's go ahead and pick up this. It's Defeat the Alliance uh, at the Battle of Stormguard. We'll be given a cache item level 370, which is really nice, as well as uh, Azurite Core, I believe. This is a one-time quest, but uh, do not quote me on that. It is a quest that we can pick up. And uh, this is basically the table where we can join the queue um, for the Battle of Stormguard, assault and destroy the Alliance in their newly reconstructed fortification of Stormguard Keep. Let's go ahead and join the queue for the Battle of Stormguard, the very first Battle for Azeroth Warfront. Fam, we have made our way to the very first Warfront. We are in a squad deep of 20. Let's go ahead and uh, start doing this. So iron and wood are resources needed to build your base and recruit troops. So uh, reclaim our Garak, uh, reclaim the base, our base and secure. Okay, so we're first getting in. Which you guys can see, we are currently located on top. Alliance have taken over our Garak, and we now have to reclaim that in order to go ahead and continue on into Stormguard. Not too sure how long these are, but let's go ahead and just have some fun and uh, check this out. BM Hunters and Warriors got nerfed a lot. I heard, I know, well, no, I didn't hear. I actually noticed that, so I'm happy about it, though. Warlocks are just not in a great place in PvP, so. Alright, so, we gotta slay, we gotta rebuild, um... We get a capture and capture. So that's our battle for Stormguard. Uh, basically, tool tip. What we got to do. Uh, we are currently buffed. I'm not too sure how long this takes. Are we not full or something? No, we're full. Are we uh, ready to roll? Oh, it was an actual time limit to go ahead and set up. Oh my gosh, this is like a battleground raid scenario. PvP, PvE, all put together in one thing. This is gonna be cray. This is gonna be cray. Oh, we're on a freaking ship. And my favorite rocket ship soaring through the skies. Little Einstein. Bam! Oh my gosh. Alright, so we gotta retake our stronghold. So let's do this. Alliance don't know nothing. Alright, so we gotta kill that dude. Oh my gosh. So it's a, this is basically a raid, but PvP. It's like bringing Trial Crusader, or Trial of the whatever it was, Champion, or I don't really remember the raid name, but it was one of my favorite raids, which is sadly, I can't remember the name. I get them confused with the dungeon. But this is like putting it together. And this is what they really wanted to do. This is what they really wanted to do. Back in the day. This is epic. I can't believe this. This is gonna be fun. And then uh, once you complete this, you gain access to your dailies, world bosses, rare spawns, all that stuff that is in the zone of Arathi Highlands. So let's go ahead and continue on. Uh, again, we got to reclaim our garage. So this is Veteran Sergeant, which is the first person that we got to slay. As you guys can see, that's going to be Mardoth and Tagudah. Now we got to claim this little section of our garage, or claim our garage, I should say. And, uh,. Now that it's for the Horde, we now have this as our base. And then basically you just gotta go ahead and continue clearing out, clearing through. New constructions available. Over there, uh, we can construct the barracks. So in order to construct uh, barracks, we need to contribute. 
iron and lumber, which is what he just said. Uh, I just want to look around here as quickly as possible. So there's some NPCs, so we just got a lot of work to do. So without further ado, no vendors or nothing good. Let's try to get back out of here. So everybody's at the mine, of course, because that's where you're going to get iron. So let's go ahead and head on over there. It's PvP. I know nothing about WoW. Not <laughs> PvP, but you're not flagged. True, pretty much. That's pretty much what it is. It's PvP, but you're not facing off against PvP people. Facing off against, like, NPCs. Alright, so let's just go ahead and get on into the mines. I'm pretty sure that's where people are. Yep. So, we can go ahead and loot. So, we get, we've been given iron, as you guys can see. Uh, maximum that you can have is 200. And we gotta contribute all of this towards the, uh, forming our barracks. Uh, the great, uh, hall has been rebuilt. So much stuff to do as a team. Team speak or uh, Ventrilo back in the day, those things. But I mean, like, basically, Discord would be really nice if it's something like that. It's not needed, of course, but it, it would be very nice to go ahead and communicate with your buddies so you can see and everybody's working on towards your same goal. Alright, so Hatcher Ridge has been captured because we just uh, played the little boss there. We're now going to capture because someone's already uh, capturing the flag right there. So the mines is now ours. What sucks is your PvP talents aren't toggled on. That's kind of AIDS. I need to go do some YouTube stuff. See you later, guys. No worries. Thank you very much for tuning in. Catch you around unusual. Uh, did I not loot that? Yeah, I did. So again, as you guys can see, we've captured that. And the other team went over to Hatchet Ridge to capture that. Uh, next up, we got Advancing the Effort. Workshop constructed, demolishers constructed, as well as uh, pass captured. Uh, pass is where's pass? I perch. I don't know what the pass is, but we'll figure it out. Uh, there's a quest up top. There's a foreman that's gonna give us a quest. So let's go ahead and check out what that is. Okay, so things can respawn. Can I double it? I thought I could try to double it, but guess not. <clears throat> so basically everybody right now is working on getting lumber and also working on getting iron in order to construct an alliance assault force has been deployed. Okay. There's the quest. Uh, use the heavy iron key to access the iron stone. We have a barracks. Now train those grunts. Iron storage access, okay. Don't got that much iron, but I mean, let's just go see what we can do when we contribute this. I'm surprised in uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer, once again, uh, I made it first in the comments with no likes. I struggle. Oh, wait, holy crap. I actually reached over. Oh, well, that's because I'm buffed up. Never mind. I was happy. Alright, well, that basically the mines. Slain, collecting iron. Good to go. Get that quest. So, there's iron stores access. Uh, let's go ahead and click on that. Turn in the quest. I get a ton of iron from doing that quest. Plus 17 iron. Okay, so that's very, very cool. Uh, there's another quest over here because the barracks have been accessed. Uh, speak with Throck to recruit an ally from the barrack. The boy. Uh, Raging Strike, Axe Healing Wave would be nice, but I'm just going to go ahead and recruit a basic grunt right now. Get this quest quickly completed. I get 10 wood in return. Awesome sauce. So that's where you go ahead and uh, recruit troops. Train your troops. This is basically... Alright, so now we're trying to construct a stronghold, correct? Okay, yeah, we're trying to construct a stronghold. So let's go ahead and recruit... Uh, contribute some... 
Actually, you're everything. You contribute everything to that. I want to contribute to that. Can I use this again? Awesome. So you just keep spamming that. All right, cool. Uh, this is acquire power. So bristling power, grant yourself an application of power of the storm. And you can also uh, call the storm by offering. Okay, cool. Not bad, not bad. So you can acquire some power from this little area here, which is altar of storms. Stronghold's currently being maneuvered. Barracks, let's go ahead and check out the armory real quick. We already have that access, so let's go ahead and check out the quest. Speak with Fennec to learn about what the armory has to offer. Uh, armory can contribute to uh, Moonlight or Moonlight armor or weapons. Uh, increase all damage dealt. Uh, health increase. So let's just go ahead and uh, contribute there real quick. And uh, turn in this quest to up there. Looking good. And then uh, speak to to learn what the Altar of Storms has, which is what we just did. But I mean, you gotta go ahead and see what the Altar of Storms. These are basically the basic quests, which are gonna teach you how to, uh, what to do. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and grab some more iron. Um, all right. So we gotta get the workshop, which is gonna give us the vehicles constructed. Oh ho ho! Someone doing some research over there, fam. All right. So this is what we're gonna be getting over next currently working on the workshop as you guys can see but those are the core buildings in our area let's go ahead and check out the uh, hatchet ridge for you guys so you can see what that's all about so so far again armory we've also got barracks we've also got the altar of storms of course um, the mines we're gonna go ahead and check out the ridge workshop currently uh, I mean the stronghold currently being uh, built and rectified as well as the workshop uh, actually just started as well so that's very cool Alright, so this is where you get the wood. There's probably a quest here for me. Yep, just basically teaching you what to do here. What do you mean? Um, the following will be cast on you, Lumberjack Axe. It allows me to uh, basically smash down some trees in order to collect some wood. You can also collect piles of wood here. Alright, so with that being said, I want to go ahead and gather as much wood as possible. Alright, number one, where is it? Go ahead and get this quest done too. Alright, there's the axe. Just realized that. Alright. We have gotten the, uh, what is this called? The Northfold Crossing. Alright, so there's some trees and stuff that they want me to go ahead and uh, chop down. However,. How do I do that? <laughs> How do I chop down the goddamn trees? There's no trees to chop down. Uh, Alliance actually starting to uh, attack here, guys. I gotta chop down some freaking trees. Oh, look at the size of that thing! Hey, anyone wanna go kill it? Oh, we respawn. Hello. Um, sapling harvested, freshly chopped wood. Just like not getting anything from this freshly chopped wood. I'm collecting. West bug? I guess it might be. Hold up fam, we about to lose this. I gotta figure out how to do this one. But while that is being dealt with, let's go ahead and check out to the uh, the Northfold Crossing real quick. My goal for this one is to see what this is all about. Alright, so this is basically just like a, a fortification into uh, moving forward. Not too much going on there. Might be a little bit. Yeah, I did not too much going on here at all. That's where the fight. We're just pushing forward. Alright, let's go ahead. Uh, we got some clarification on that quest. Uh, we are also fighting in that given area. The Alliance attack wave. 
It's great that the map freaking pinpoints and shows the whole group what's going on. Oh, there's the tree. Okay, for some reason, I couldn't see that when I was here, unless I was a goddamn blind bat, but... Okay. We've now chopped some trees, collect some fresh wood. Turn, turn in that quest. Uh, we'll be given wood. Sweet. All right, so that's how that works. Simple sauce. Uh, we've also got the workshop and the, uh, not the altar, but the, uh, fortress, uh, the stronghold coming into play at level two. So we got to keep increasing that. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check out this, uh, workshop though. Workshop, workshop, workshop. My favorite thing of almost every freaking PvP event is CGs. All right, so basically, uh, we got to give a lot of, um, iron to go ahead and activate that. Of course, demolishers, super importante. And uh, last but not least, let's see, you know what, we can actually pick up some more iron while we're here, 39. And then this is, of course, we're increasing it. So let's just go ahead and contribute some wood while we're here. Construct that fortress fam. And so pretty much we are up to date on everything. We're gonna continue moving on forward to the Alliance attack wave. We could actually get Newstead, capture Newstead. Um, I'm interested in doing that, guys. But we are still working on getting our stronghold up and ready to go. So let's go ahead and check that out. Yeah, let's go ahead and hit up Newstead. Valor Pass captured. Where is Valor Pass? I don't see Valor Pass at all. But what's cool, this is so freaking epic, this. Alright, let's go ahead and help them with the alliance here. But it's so... On my way to New Stead. It's so epic because it's a back and forth, basically battleground, where you fight NPCs, and oh, you get to experience some cool freaking PvP as a in a raid format. Awesome, awesome, great job, Blizzard, so far. I'm liking this. All right. Go ahead and head on over. I want to help take over something before they do it. Newstead. I want to help them take over this place. Ah, uh, they're all running away. That kind of stuff. Not where you want to be, is it? Oh, we've already got it to level three. Alright, so we got some NPCs coming in. Almost ours. But we got NPCs, our grunts from the uh, the barracks, everybody else also coming into play here. Ah, let's go. Go ahead and uh, capture it. Ooh, and a new alliance of fort. Goddamn. I right, captured it, my peeps. Kill the cows. I hope someone's capturing. Yep, we got it. With horde banners flying over Newstead, we can now train wolf riders. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh, speak with Dakota Rider. Oh, Wolf Rider, so this is uh, a quicker assault, I'm assuming. Uh, so what do you want me to do? The uh, see what Dakota Rider has to offer. Check this out. Follow the wood real quick. 
We get the resources. Alright, let's go ahead and head on over back to the Kodo Rider. Get this little quest on. Alright, so we got a lot to spend, but you get a couple of cool buffs. It's basically a more faster assault. The English is lit. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make our way over into the center. Go ahead and help them real quick. Oh, damn. Sorry about that guys, uh, OBS did disconnect there for a bit, timed out, not 100% sure why, am I dropping any frames? No, I'm not. Must be a YouTube problem then, let's go ahead and check that out real quick. Nope, I have no clue what that was about then, but for those of you tuning in, let me know if you uh, if you still see me live, I'm going to keep recording anyways. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, quickly capture the high perch here, take over the boss. Kinda got split attacks going on, split forces. But the Alliance have no clue which way we'd be coming in, fam. But they now know. They now know. Alright, look at that back cap. Sneaky, sneaky back caps over here. Alright, uh, Circle of Elements, Elemental Spirits would be lit. Alright, let's check out what this quest is all about. It's my way or the highway, pal. Oh no way! So we can. This is flight path. So now we have center control. We can fly around the islands. It's really different. It does. It does. They did a great job here. So this is flight master. Yo, can I help you with something? We can go anywhere we want at this moment in time in this given time. Security, enforcement, extortion. Deliver to our garage. So we got to go back. All right. So this is basically quick delivery here. Cammy Cog Whistles, uh, I believe, gonna be the boss for them. I wanna get the Circle of Elements, though, before. I mean, we still gotta get into Stormguard, but uh, the boss for Ballad Call Pass. Yeah, I hope to get the East, though. I want Circle of Elements. Alright, we can go ahead and pick up some more iron. Go ahead and quickly deliver this quest in, though. Alright, Fight Master Whistle upgrade, y'all know what's up. Pretty much uh, capped out right here. God damn, look at this fortress now that we've uh, smashed it. Alright, let's get some Wolf Riders. And let's go ahead and continue on where we left off. Let's go ahead and head on over to Circle. So, so far, everything in red, as you guys Ooh, can see. Oh, hey, no. Oh. Alright, well, I'm not going to be able to get there in time, but you guys just witnessed what they had to kill. A big, huge fire elemental. We're going to go ahead and capture this and see what this gives us. I believe it's probably going to be a buff, most likely. The elements answer the call of the horde, as it should be. Is it just a plain old buff elemental spirit? Nope. It's, uh, there's a quest in here. And uh, who do we go to for this one? Right here in the middle. I mean, I would like to see. Oh, okay. They're setting up camp here. She's getting ready. And then next up, we're gonna go ahead and take on over Valor Call Pass. So there is the uh, the spirit of the elemental that we just uh, demolished. Waiting for her. To okay, there we go. We can now talk to her. So now we can uh, summon an elemental, which is going to be that elemental there. So that's actually pretty damn cool. So every single location has a, a buff. It's kind of like a Rothy... No, Alterac Valley uh, with that elemental. Remember the Frost Lord that you could summon? Everybody used to love those epic days back in the day. So it's kind of like little buffs in every single section, and if you do hover over uh, each area, you will notice what uh, those areas also do as well. So we're going to go ahead and head on back over into the center of the map. We have the cleansed fire spirit coming in to attack as someone was able to uh, uh, summon that.
Alright, so this is where we currently are. I believe this is the box for Valor Call Pass, so let's go ahead and check this one out. Keep it going. Boss almost done. So I believe we're going to be able to get Valor Call Pass in just a second here. And it'll move us into our next adventure. Yep, that was the boss for Valor Call Pass. Perfect. So we're moving on in. Alright, here we go. Take down that gate. Let's show that troll bane fool what a few green skins can do. Alright, so now what? Stands, orc. I'll enjoy okay, so there's some Alliance Siege engines coming in, some Alliance forces Defenders. coming in. Show them the strength of our city. And we're now trying to take over Stormguard, gate destroyed, and then the Alliance captain has to be defeated. Nothing here questing wise. This is basically just another uh, point into uh, towards victory So not too much going on here But absolutely epic thus far of course is it also rare spawns everywhere and you know what with this Currently going on I might make it but they have been fighting it for quite some time now. So Check it out. All uh, right. Yeah, it's a rare spawn. It's actually we can't even kill it So I think they did something to it They put it they gave it to us on our side then I think if you kill that one it comes on our side to help us uh destroy the walls or the gates I can't attack it there's a tree that I can saw down an alliance assault has been deployed all right so let's go ahead and uh, continue on with the fight go ahead and help out the horde fam we need to get these gates down so we can uh, finally get our dub so this is a long scenario, but now that I kind of know what to expect, I mean, it's not going to be that long. I'm going to go ahead and pop cooldowns on this one here. The only thing I wish is uh, PvP talents. They should be... We should be able to use them. It's the only thing I hope for to see in the near future. We should be able to use PvP power. Yeah, that's the only thing I wish for this uh, little adventure here. But for those of you tuning in, got questions, post in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about Warfront. So far, it's an epic raiding adventure. And I'm loving it. Not gonna, not gonna hate at all. This is really fun. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, we can repair the demolisher. So you just click on it to repair. All right, that makes total sense. It reminds me more of Wintergrass. That's true, but it's kind of like Wintergrass and Ultra Egg Valley put together. That's that's the way I feel about it. Good call on bringing up Wintergrass on that. One of my favorite PvP adventures was Wintergrass, but now basically they turned Wintergrass into a PVE raid. That's kind of what this is now in a different area and winter grasp wasn't necessarily horde the alliance it was but it wasn't the true core to horde and alliance it was basically horde and alliance trying to capture uh, newfound areas this is actual brutal brute force fighting for the horde and the alliance where we're fighting actual alliance areas and uh, alliance to fight in actual horde areas so far, this has been great. Alright, so let's go ahead and head on in. We're now able to uh, go ahead and try to slay the Alliance Commander. Got some forces here real quick. I can't wait to check out the aftermath of this. Did you get to do all the rare spawns? It went to up. You basically have control and you don't have to worry about this anymore. <clears throat> Rogue boss is what I'm looking forward to because it's currently up this week. And that's kind of also why I'm doing it today. 
because tomorrow it's on reset. Alright, so there it is. The boss himself. I have killed thousands of your kind before. Facing off against the uh, the Alliance commander now, taking over Stormguard Keep. Popping blood less, it's gonna be cakewalk, I think. Oh damn, he's actually got a lot of health. Oh snap, we're, we're doing bits. Let's summon the tyrant while we're here. Hate his stupid frontal cone. Can't attack in the front of him. This guy's got some freaking almost unbeatable defensive shields. If only he was able to go 360, 360 shields on this. <clears throat> so on the correct angles, it's good. Oh my gosh, we we even got the freaking elemental and all the squad helping us out right now. Oh snap, I don't want to die. That's not how I roll. It's how you don't die in these type of situations, fam. Oh, camera angles are lit. Camera angles are lit. It's almost dead. We almost get the job. My very first Warfront completed. Did we get an epic uh, cinematic now? Please? Well, I've been given Acid right Cluster. Victory. 340 item level gear. And, uh... Yeet. Alright, let's do this. Warfront attempt number two. Let's have some fun in this one. get the kills my boy alright sweet y'all know what's up I'll get you that iron my boy There's the boss. Well, not really. Yeah, it is the boss. talking about lag they ain't their PC not doing what I'm doing right now
My mind's not lagging that bad. <clears throat> I mean, it's lagging, but it's not bad. Don't capture the mind spam. Oh, damn. You can fucking gear up by doing this shit. Ho, 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 ho. The lumber shall be ours. I'm actually gonna capture something this time. Fun guy, yo. I'm gonna cap. They call me Catman. They call me the Catman. I'm the Cat. Bringing out the whole boys, the whole boys squad right now. While your fam just goes ahead and uh, caps once this guy's dead. No, I don't want this. I don't need this. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of these enemies. All right, this is now capturable. It should be. I'm pretty much safe. Yeet! No. What? And I can't even use my medallion. What is this eight? Alright, a cap in mid. Been a part of everything so far at this run, which is nice. But basically I want no belt and no pants, so I take anything. And I'm assuming if you neglect your your areas with the alliance assault statue taking place, I think you, you put, they can probably put you backwards, which they should be able to. When your imps want a little buff, you summon tyrant boy. Damn, this guy takes forever to kill. Holy crap. I'm not gonna lie, holy crap. Talking about something taking a lot to kill. God damn. Alright, let's just kill this thing now. Again. The fuck yo when you reverse. We got NPCs about to come and smash your face now, bro. What are you gonna do about this? There we go. 
go. Gotta bring out the the boys. I don't think it was worth it to bring out my portal. You should die that time. Alright, cool. We're gonna cap more. I'm an idiot. I pulled that. Got good though. Alright, sweet. What the flipping hell, Stan? We lost Newstead. Oh my god. We actually lost Newstead. So it is true. You can be put backward. There we go. Now we can kill. What the fuck? This piece of shit alliance taking over Newstead. Well, we're gonna go ahead and backburn you with this guy. We don't. We don't take this place over, Sam. We don't need the farm. Piss the farm. That elemental got to do some elemental deeps. Not gonna lie, big boy deeps, big boy numbers, big boy tank. Oh shit! About to get but This guy, huh? All right, I see. I see. I got you, man. I just smashed. I smashed. It's over. I smashed him. Valor call passed and I'll be hours today, boys. We don't need the goddamn farm. We're too good for this. Bring in the demolishers. Take down that gate. Let's shoot it. Blow was so ice. I'm rocky with it. We can about to destroy the alliance. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, guys. Oh, my, my fam, that priest move. Making money moves. Uh, I'll actually fight that. <clears throat> Boom. Peace out. We about to fight and face off against your boss. What you guys don't do about that. Fucking let me cat. Shit. I think we pulled the boss. I don't know what we're gonna do about that, but I think we pulled the boss. We did. So look. You know what, just focus the bot. You got this. I got slammed. And stunned. Why can't I stun you? This is PvP, fam. Who cares if you're a bot? I should still be able to stun you. About to get that free loot, though. I don't know if it's worth it this much time though for the loot. I mean it is if you actually play. Yeah, they can damn it. I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. This guy moves too much. <clears throat> I need another cooldown. Your boy's gonna die. Yay! 
Oh, snap. <laughs> 